Well, good evening, YouTube, and thank you so much for watching my channel. Uh, Fat Cat Collections coming at you tonight with another watch show and tell. Now, this watch I've already reviewed in the past, and what I didn't realize is that when, in the past when I review, reviewed some of these watches, when I first started getting involved to the Invicta game, um, I reviewed watches with my head cut off from the neck down, and the resolution was really grainy. I didn't realize that I was using a, 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 a uh, I think it was a 360 resolution on my iPad, which is what I use to record these. It's pretty straight, it's pretty basic, you know, but it works, it gets the job done. Um, what's interesting is I was checking out my, my, uh, my analytics, okay, which is a uh, part of the YouTube channel that allows you to see, you know, how many people are viewing it, um, you know, where the, the views are coming from. It just gives you a lot of data for your views, okay? And what's interesting is that I have over 230 videos, and some of the videos that I posted a year ago don't get a lot of uh, views anymore, which is really interesting to me because this watch is amazing, and, and this is why I had to review it again. So you're going to see some duplicate content. If you're one of my original subscribers before I hit over 2,000, you might see these videos and say, hey, I, he already re reviewed that, but um, the point is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do them again because I feel like I've gotten better at doing this. Again, I'm not a professional actor. I'm, I'm, I don't edit any of these, this content. What... I produce what I put out there. I basically take it. It goes right on the computer. Every now and then I'll upload one and I'll do some changes with the uh, some of the YouTube tools to you know to maybe help the lighting a little bit. But for the most part, what you see is what you get. And you know what? These are real, normal, average Joe videos, and I'm sharing my opinion and my passion for watches with the world. And I think that comes across. Uh, they're very genuine and they're very sincere. And I naturally, 2,000 people seem to like them. So I'm going to keep going with it. I hope that I can bump that up to eventually 10,000 and just keep going, you know. A lot of people search for Invicta videos um, or Invicta watches. If you look at, you know, the Google search terms, um, Invicta watches search over 300,000 times per month. That's a lot of folks searching for Invicta watches. So I am going to be doing duplicate content. And I've changed the scenery a little bit. The reason I've done that tonight is because the lighting in my other my, my office where I normally review these watches is pretty dim. And uh, it's not much better in here, but it's a little bit better. So I think that'll... And you know, it's a change of pace, right? So summertime, I'm going to try to do more stuff outside. So um, you know what? We're just kind of run with it. If you if you like the, the change of scenery or you like the office, man, go ahead and, and tell me. I love to get feedback from, my, from the community and from my subscribers. Let me know what they prefer. Um, however, I will still ultimately do what I want to do because... <laughs> It's my channel, but um, I do I do appreciate the feedback. So, um, with with that out of the way, what are we going to be talking about tonight? Now, this watch I had to re-review whether or not whether I'm going to re-review this watch three more times. It's irrelevant because this watch, this particular watch, definitely deserves it. Now, you know I love Invicta watches. I think you get so much for your money, and uh, I can't tell you the number of times that people comment. Thousands of people comment about how, man, I watched your video and I bought three Invictus. I personally have been responsible for hundreds of Invictus sales, which is awesome because, you know what, like I said, I'm really passionate about this brand and uh, I, it's great that people are discovering it because I waited so long before getting an Invicta watch and now that I've got one, it's like the other watch is just, I mean, I sold so many of my watches that I just didn't wear anymore to allow me to get Invicta watches. So, uh, Man, I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. So this watch here is, is I have to say, one of my favorite Invicta watches. Now, I love all the Invicta watches that I have. I love all the wa Invicta watches they make. I don't think there's any Invicta watch that I would look at and be like, oh, I wouldn't like to have that, you know. But, you know, what, I'm not a rich guy, so I don't buy every Invicta watch, and uh, I do have to be picking and choosing on which ones I want to have, like most people, like most average American people, okay. and But this watch, amongst my Invicta watches, is... One of my favorite watches in my collection. I mean, this one here is the Subaqua Noma 5. They make Noma 1 through 5 right now. There's Noma 6 coming out. I've seen sneak peeks of it. I have to say, it's nice, but this is the nicest Noma that they've ever made. The nicest Subaqua, in my opinion. This is an award-winning design as far as the pushers and the crown. It's beautiful. And it's definitely one that i got to tell you, when I first got it, I pulled it out of the box because... You know, I kind of like the bigger the better when it comes to watches. So I already had, before I bought this, the Venom. And uh, it was a little smaller than the Venom. So I was kind of like, oh, man. But when I actually put it on and started looking at it, wearing it, 
Um, it's become one of my most favorite watches. Sometimes I look down at my wrist and I'm like, holy cow, that thing is absolutely beautiful. And this is, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful watches that Invicta makes. So let me show you, I'm going to tell you a little bit a little bit about it. Now, these videos that I'm not going to do in my office, I don't have the web page pulled up. Where I'm going to tell you all the, you know, the movement and all that stuff. And it, not that you really care anyway. Ultimately, you want to see what it looks like on the wrist. You want to hear, do I like it or not? I love it, okay? So um, let me just show you a close up here on the lugs or the pushers and of course the crown. Um, lots of moving parts. It's basically you turn one of the pushers here and what happens is they extend. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. And then as you turn it, they retract. Really interesting design. Um, then of course you have your crown with these butterfly tabs that pop up. And it's a screw down crown of course. Just a very, very unique pusher and crown system. You do have your unidirectional bezel on this. You have these raised kind of hoops on the bezel, five of them. Um, generally, they tend to do that on the sub-aquas because this is the five. You'll see five. You have this multi-layer, three-dimensional band that's extremely, extremely intricate. Really, really cool looking. And then, of course, you have a little bit of polishing around the inside of the bezel and then on the side of the links and then the sides of the case. You also have a helium release valve which I know in a couple of videos I called a hydrogen release valve. Um, again, I don't have a spiel when I, I just kind of get excited and I talk about these things. So uh, forgive me if I made a few mistakes along the way, but I believe it is the helium release valve. Um, has to do with diving and I believe depressurizing. The Hydromax is the other one that has that, which is interesting because the Hydromax has um, a, a rating of 3,000 feet, 3,300 feet of water resistance, which is exactly what the Venom has. However, the Venom does not have the helium release valve. I'm not really sure if it's really necessary for just something that they, it's something to talk about, like a selling feature. Not sure, but it's cool that it has it, I guess. You know, something to say. This one here is the COSC version. That means it's a certified chronograph. Um, it has to, again, it's just the basics. Uh, to be COSC certified, if I'm saying that correctly, let's hope so. <laughs> Um, it has to actually be accurate within, a, I guess, a certain, like, the time has to be accurate per year or something like that. Um, if you know more, put it in the comments, okay? I can do that, too, and put it in the description, but, you know, I just I just want to show you the watch, basically. But it's cool, you got, like, this kind of, like, skeleton, skeletonized face. Although you're not, re it's not really skeletonized, it's made to look like it is, um, because you're not really seeing the movement inside there. It, naturally, it is a chronograph. And then this one does have the Subaqua Noma 5s have the exhibition back. Let me see if you can see that. And they use the furnace blue coloring on this kind of decorative piece on the inside. And what I love about the fact that they've done a um, exhibition back is the fact that, you know, in my opinion, I don't really I don't really care for exhibition backs on a quartz movement because you don't see the pendulum. Like an automatic movement, you see all the parts in there. You see the jewels. And to me, it's kind of a waste to put one on a quartz mo uh, quartz movement or quartz watch because there's not really much to look at like I have a couple exhibition backs I've said it in a few of my videos that the that the, my grand arsenals have and it's just like you're looking at this yellow quartz movement there's not really much to look at you see a little bit of a battery and a little bit of metal but what I like with this particular watch and I've said it before again that they should on every Invicta they put a exhibition back on they should make it just a rule to go ahead and put a decorative piece like that like the sub or the um Sea Hunter, they have that beautiful furnace blue propeller. It doesn't spin, but it's really neat when you you know if you're gonna put an exhibition back on it, show something off worth showing off. Just my opinion, Invicta. But I love what they've done with this particular watch. I love what they've done with the uh, again the Sea Hunter. Uh, do it on the Arsenal, you'll have something really exceptional there. Um, measurement on this one here, you're looking at a twenty. I believe it's twenty. Oh, I don't have my specs in front of me. I believe this is a 20 millimeter uh, case thickness, 20, 20, 20 to 22. I think it's I think it's 21. It's a little bit less than the Venom. It's a very thick watch. It's a 50 millimeter watch in diameter as opposed to a Venom, which is 52. It's a little bit smaller, but you know what? This watch, you got to get this in your collection. Now, there's a watch. I just want to touch base on it. I just posted a Facebook picture of it today. Now, it's a watch that's probably discontinued. Probably not gonna see it again. You can still find it on eBay. It's way beyond my budget. Right now, you can pick it up for about twenty five hundred dollars, and I just can't rationalize that. I could do it, but 
there's so many other things I want and so many other watches I want to get that are just, to me, for what I make and how hard I have to work for my money, I just cannot, I will never rationalize a watch that expensive. But I tell you, it's really beautiful. And basically, it's a Jason Taylor edition of this watch in all black. It's a sub Aqua Noma 5, complete all black finish with a like kind of a black carbon fiber face, a little bit of silver on there. But what's really cool, it's got five carats of black genuine diamonds around the bezel, which is why the watch is so expensive. But man, check out my Facebook page and my uh, the web, my website, Fat Cat Watches. I just posted a link on that one there. Man, if you're balling and, you, and, and money, money's a little bit less of an object for you than me, and you're thinking about picking up a, 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 a Sub Aqua Normal 5 and you can afford it, go to my website, fatcatwatches.com, click through the links on that one and get that. And I'll tell you, I know this is, this, is a, this is not a trusting world, but ship it to me and I will do a video review or you ship it to me and I'll ship it back to you. Scout's honor. I'll, I'd, I'd never do anybody wrong, but I would love to review that watch because I'll probably never own it. But um, even though I could, you know, Christmas bonuses coming around here pretty soon, I just, uh, I, I just can't rationalize that kind of money uh, on a watch. But... Um, if it was six hundred, I definitely do it. But maybe one day they'll come out with it with and it was a limit. Anyways, a limited edition run. I think they only made ninety nine. And uh, I mean, I've seen the price upwards of six thousand dollars for that watch. Now that's ridiculous. Um, and I don't really know what the stones. Anytime you start getting involved in precious stones, I don't really know what diamonds cost. So I don't know. I'm not really sure whether it's worth that or not. But um, you know, basically, it's this same watch which you can pick up for about four hundred. So, uh, just to, by adding some stones on it, to me, uh, I don't really know what those five carats are worth, but it's probably a little bit of a rip-off, but I, I got to tell you, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful, I, I would really like to maybe take, I know I'm rambling on here, but I'd almost like to take at some point, maybe get an all-black uh, Sea Hunter and see if I can take it to a jeweler and see what kind of custom work they could do, maybe recess some stones in it, something. It's really hard to find watches with the iced bezel, and I tend to like that, but um, I have a few like that, but again, they're not real diamond, but I do like the look. Um, but anyway, moving on with this watch here, uh, it's a beautiful watch. It's definitely one that if you are an Invicta fan, a collector of Invictas, if you like any of the Invictas, if you've purchased watches based on my videos, let me tell you, you have to get this watch in your collection. My favorite Invictas, let me... Bust them out real quick while I'm talking about this because I want you to understand how much I like this watch. My favorite one, Sea Hunter, the new Sea Hunter 3. That's the name I gave it. It's not really called Sea Hunter 3, but that's the name I gave it. It's stuck because I get so many views on that watch. You'll find you can be able you can search Sea Hunter 3 on YouTube and find, or on Google and YouTube and find it has become a search term on Google. But um, naturally, you know the one I'm talking about, the Sea Hunter with the the gear edge bezel. My favorite, one of my favorite Invicta watches. Then again, ne or next to that, you have the Invicta Grand Arsenal. I love them all, all color combos. I will get more of those. Um, the Venom's always wonderful, but I have to say, if I have to pick, if I have to pick top three Invicta watches that I personally own and have seen that I absolutely are my top. It's like I said, the Sea Hunter, only that Sea Hunter, um, the Grand Arsenal, and Invicta Sub Aqua Noma 5. It's definitely one you should have in your collection. Um, I like it more than the Venom, personally. Uh, it's just, it's so intricate. There's so many things going on with it. It's beautiful. Now, there is a Venom. Check out my video on the Venom Hybrid, okay? That one here is, is another great watch. That one's got the pusher system and lugs, or, or the uh, crown, from this watch. The uh, case and cradle design and the band from your um, specialty and your bezel from the uh, Venom 2. So that one there is like, I don't have that one yet. And I'm wait, I'm holding out so I get it in all gold. And it's just, my buddy got it. And I did a video on it. He let me borrow it. And that one is just, man, that's another beautiful watch. So definitely pick this up. It's Christmas time. If you like my videos, if you trust what I've had to say about Invicta watches and my videos have made you buy Invicta watches and you don't have this one, Please go get it. There are some really good deals going right now. You owe it to yourself to get this watch. Let me go ahead and throw it in the wrist. This is what you want to see. Sub Aqua Noma 5 by Invicta. Oh, model number. My bad. Sorry. In case you want this particular one. 
that would be kind of helpful to know. I gotta tell you, this band's a little tight on this one here, which is good. It's a good thing. Uh, model number on this one here is the one two nine zero four. Again, this is the Subaqua Noma Five COSC certified chronograph version. I am about five foot eight inches tall. I have a seven inch wrist and I weigh about one hundred and seventy pounds. That's what it looks like on a guy my size, my height, and my weight. Now, I apologize for the lighting. It's a little dim. And again, tonight I'm doing something a little unorthodox, a little different than I normally do. Like I said, I normally film my videos in my office. Tonight I'm doing it in my bedroom because the lighting is a little better. But I am going to move around a little bit. And uh, if you like it, you know, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know also so I can uh, make sure I don't post. You know, I, I do want to kind of appease to my, my viewers. And we get kind of different lighting here as we move around the room a little bit. I'll go ahead and put this here. I did this in the last video too. It's just a little bit brighter lighting over here. You can get an idea what that looks like under some brighter lighting. Just a beautiful watch, guys. And let me move you over to here for a second here. The lighting's really good over here. I mean, that is just... Man. Look at that. And I gotta tell you, folks. I mean, uh, like every, I, and I'm being honest with you. Every Invicta watch I have has gotten compliments. I mean, some of the ones that I don't even really like. I have a Subaka Noma three that I I love also, which you can pick up for a really great price. Which I'll do another video review of that one as well. Um, and sometimes, I, like the watches that I think are gonna get the most compliments. I mean, they do, but some of those ones where I'm like, okay, well, I don't really. This isn't my favorite Invicta. Um, they sometimes I get like eight compliments a day on these things. We'll get back a little bit so you can get an idea of what it looks like from a distance. Okay, folks. Well, there it is. That's my two cents on the Invicta Subaqua Noma 5. Definitely one you... I already said it enough. You have to get this in your collection. Um, yeah, that's it. I think I've said my piece. So, again, thank you so much for watching my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. That one was kind of a long one, 18 minutes. So, uh, yeah, definitely check out fatcatwatches.com. Um, if you like the channel, if you like the content, uh, remember that's where you can get some of the, the best deals on Invicta watches. That's where I buy my watches through eBay. Those are links to take you. Uh, you can search for each one of these watches. It'll bring up real-time listings from some of the sellers that I recommend and some of the places I've had good luck with. And um, uh, what else? It does help to support my channel, so naturally I want to be honest with you guys about that. When you click that, there is a kickback from eBay to help support my channel. I wish I sold these watches, but so many people have bought purchased Invicta watches. I mean, hundreds of people have bought, bought Invicta watches based on my videos. Uh, I would love to sell them, but I don't really know how to get involved in that. So, uh in the meantime, just click through the website, check out the places that I buy them. I share that with you guys. And uh, definitely when you get them, tell me about your experience with them. Tell me about the compliments. Remember also check out my uh, uh, Facebook page, uh, Fat Cat Watches uh, at Facebook, PKW Watches. Um, and uh, friend request me because uh, we have a lot of great conversations on there. People love to post pictures of them wearing their new watch. The UPS guy coming to the door, everything. So, uh, again, thank you so much. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, folks... Have a great night.